welcome to my channel, Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget the best way to support the channel is to like, make comments, and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. So let's talk about it. It's being alleged Pete Davis joked that he wanted to go to space to avoid his personal life. I called it. Many people called it. They said this is just a publicity stunt. It was a publicity stunt. Him going to Jeff Bezos' house with Kim, we knew. We knew, because all of a sudden, you want to go to space after you're dating her? That's what that team does. They love to do publicity stuff. Um, to avoid his personal life, um, the new uh, and new behind-the-scenes footage from his messy feud with Kanye. Many people knew, and that's what they do. Sometimes you can't believe what's said, what's done. Every week, it's a publicity this, publicity that. It's calmed down because a lot of people are talking about Kanye. It's calmed down a lot. And people are giving Kanye the side eye. People are giving Kim the side eye. People are giving them the side eye. So I'm going to play this clip of what Kanye felt. The beginning is kind of, kind of something that people do go through in regards to fashion. And trying to keep up with the fashion and believing what a video shows you, that's what you're supposed to do. But then he tells you that he he realizes that's not what everybody was doing. So listen in, and then he's going to talk about his relationship with Kim. So then you have really got to listen in. Oh, you know, I, see, it's ungodly. <laughs> Ooh, ten. Mm, mm, ten. What? Come on, man. This is like Tony Stark. Right. This is the drip, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. But I got to say, the Wu-Tang videos had me spending a lot more money than I needed to. Me and Don C was buying new Tims, right. new new puffer jackets, right. Right. fitted hats, right. Right. white tees, wallabies. Right. Right. It, because it looked like every day was a video. Right. Right. And I got to, like, New York, and I seen dirty Tims. Right. <laughs> I called three of them and said, I didn't know you could see dirty If you understand the Tims, people were like that with the Tims and the Nikes. Your Nikes had to be fresh. Your Tims had to be fresh. Back then, Tims and Nikes was making so much money because dudes did not want their Tims and their Nikes to be dirty. Period. Period. I experienced it. Most women said they experienced that. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're correct. Khaled or drama? This is a big thing on the, uh, on the social media right now. Yeah, because because drama want beef with DJ Khaled and I, you I'll almost be... say Khaled because he brought me to his house and you know just the energy and just right. the positivity and right. everything and just we got also we got more records together. Mm. We got Grammy's right. family together. Mm. We got recently you did yeah. the remix joint, right? Mm. Eminem, you got a record with Eminem on the show. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it wasn't me. See, I was, I'm sitting there, you know what I'm saying? It was, people, anybody that's ever been through a divorce, Here it comes. it's a difficult thing, you know, because your baby mama gonna play. Here it comes. He's gonna talk about, I have to keep stopping it. He's gonna keep talking about what's, what he experienced. So we gotta listen in. 
it's just we got also we got more records together. Mm. We got Grammy right. family together. Mm. We got recently you yeah. did the remix joint, right? Uh-huh. Eminem, you got a record with Eminem on it. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it wasn't me. See, I was I'm sitting there, you know what I'm saying? It was people, anybody that's ever been through a divorce, it's a mm. difficult thing. You know, because your baby mama gonna play with you like mm. when we did the Don the Two thing. Uh, when my kids came on a plane, after they was on a plane, Kim texted me and said, North's not on a plane. Mm-hmm. And knowing yeah. my personality, you know what I'm saying, that could affect my show. Mm-hmm. So right, maybe right. mama's across the world, not just me, like on some billionaire. That's the Gemini shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, but everybody goes through, through a lot of that type of, I just thought about, you know, all the time when I thought me and Kim were going to get a divorce, like throughout our relationship. Throughout the relationship. I always thought about uh, um, Big Boy, man. He really told me what it really was on I Choose You. Mm. Oh, about Outcast. I was thinking yeah, about Big Boy Radio. Right. Like, yeah. Your baby's mama, mama don't like me. Uh, they try to come to the studio, try to kind of fight me. Oh, oh, and oh, that's Sorry, Miss Jackson, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but then mm-hmm. also he says, Better pick the right one to pick pick the kitties up. Mm. And the whole time I'm like this this rap is just coming rolling through my head like a mantra mm. of what it you know. So but I still be in my head. So you do you get that? You better pick the right one to pick the kitties up. Because if it's unfortunate, drama filled, chaos, you gotta be careful what can transpire in your life. You know, you get a calm, loving, kind person, you straight. You know, you get someone that's drama filled, it could be concerns for your life, concerns for your livelihood, concerns for, you know, conflict and issues you don't want to deal with. So that's why he's saying you got to pick the right woman to have a kid with. And the whole time, I'm like, this this rap is just coming, rolling through my head like a mantra mm. of what it, you know. So, but I still be in my head like, you know, maybe, you know. I'm, I'm going to play that again. Maybe one day. That's what I think yeah, big boy radio. Like, yeah. your baby's mama, mama don't like me. Uh, they try to come to the studio, try to kind of fight me. And blah, blah. Oh, and oh, that's, that's sorry, Miss Jackson, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but then mm-hmm. also he says, better pick the right one to pick pick the kitties up. Mm. And the whole time, I'm like, this this rap is just coming, rolling through my head like a mantra mm. of what it, you know. So, but I still be in my head like... Okay, so the other part of the video, many people are talking about Kanye, because I'm not going to play it. I'm only going to watch a part of this. Kanye speaks about his one one of his daughters. I'm not going to mention her name. I always try and protect the kids as best as possible. He mentioned one of his children's name that he's concerned. If, and if you recall, one of his daughters had a similar outfit of what Kim had on about five, six months ago. And then Chloe had that outfit on along with one of his daughters with sunglasses. And Kanye, this is his feelings, all comments are alleged. Kanye is concerned about one of his daughters of who will Chris and Kim put into the family business. The K's and the J's is something else. These are his thoughts. These are his feelings. He knows stuff that behind the scene and people were concerned about. It's like, why is that baby wearing that? That's like an adult outfit that's on an adult and they got her in it. You got to be... Why do they actual actualize s comma x? Why do they over actualize? Who is who are they working for that makes her think she needs to keep doing that? And then you're putting your daughter, younger daughter, in an outfit that an older adult is in that and you were in five or six months prior. You got to be careful. Why are why are people calling that out? You got to be careful what you even put out there regarding your children. And I don't blame Kanye for calling it out. He didn't want his children on TikTok because there's a lot of weirdos on TikTok. He don't want a bunch of pictures of his kids, even on Instagram. Certain ones, you know, he, he, can you blame him? But well wishes. Let's see what transpires because some people are saying the interview 
was taken down from Drink Champs. But I guess some people still copied it. But well wishes. You got to be careful who you choose to be your baby father too. <laughs> you got to be careful who you choose to have your baby father be. Some of these dudes are straight. Some of these dudes are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Some of these dudes love drama. Some of these dudes love chaos. You know, you got to find you a good dude that's going to help you pick them up from school. Help you with the homework. Help, help you them going to games. You know, family dinners, role models, teaching them good stuff, not bad stuff, being present, you know, moms being present, going to the games, feeding them properly, clothes is properly fixed, homework is done, A, B student, sometimes C, if something's going on, but you got to be very careful who you choose to have a child with. Let's be very clear. We speak about healthy and safe relationships. Everyone, have a great day. How long will Kim talk about Pete? Because without talking about Pete, she likes to connect herself to a male. She likes to connect herself with a male, and so does Chloe. That's why she do it. Courtney will be fine, her and her kids. But now, of course, Courtney has Travis Barker. But the ladies like connected themselves to a person. Kylie saying, Kendall, Kendall don't care. Kendall has the modeling, so she has a career that she's respected in. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Everyone, focus on healthy, safe relationships. Be kind. Be loving. Find people that don't like drama and conflict. If they love drama and conflict, set them free. Just leave them alone. Be around loving and kind people that want the best for you and your family and your friends. You'll know the difference in conversation when people want the best for you and people around them. And if sometimes if they then switch up and change, let them go. Sometimes people are in your life for a reason and a season. Sometimes some of those seasons end. Thanks for tuning in.